Hello. Hello, Chicky. Yes. Hey, it's Ira with the HOA. Yes. I needed to let you know we're on our way right now to your house in the HOA helicopter. And Hi. What? We'll be there in about five minutes. We're going to be lowering a drum of oil down into your front yard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and no, no, yeah, it's um, we just need you to store it there temporarily. We just we just bought uh, but you know, like several hundred barrels of oil, dirt cheap. And, I don't use oil. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's not for you. It's for the HOA. We're just we need you to hang on to it because you know right now they're worthless, but in probably a few months it'll go back up in value. And then we're going to sell are it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? What are no. you? What's going on? No, of course not, ma'am. Yeah, no, we we bought several hundred barrels of oil, and we're just going to be dispersing them throughout the neighborhood. Well, and, don't disperse it here. Well, yeah, we're we're going to be there in a, just a few minutes, and we're going to be lowering it down in. What? Hey, Chicky, it's it's Winston again. I think we got disconnected. Anyway, oh, now so, you're Winston. Before you were Ira. Ira Winston. I don't know who you are. Yeah, I don't think we've it ever... It is Cynthia's friend. Let me talk to Cynthia. Uh, she's piloting the helicopter right now. She's... Okay, bye. She's... Well, hold on. I have to let you know about the oil drums. No. Oh, hey, Ron? Sorry. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, it's Ira with the HOA. Yeah. I was talking to Chicky a minute ago, but I think there was some kind of miscommunication. No, what? Um, were you sleeping? No, no, no. Oh, okay, so I'm kind of tired. Yeah, um, so again, this is Ira, and I'm up here in the HOA helicopter. We're, we're on your way to your house. We're going to be there in about two minutes. Yeah. As I was trying to explain to your dumb wife, we're going to be lowering a barrel of oil down into your yard. Right. What, what are you doing with the barrel? Um, well, we bought it for dirt cheap. We bought several hundred of them, and we're going to be storing them temporarily in all the front yards in the neighborhood. All right. Are you sure you weren't sleeping? You sound you sounded like you're out of breath. No, no, I was on the computer. Oh, were you masturbating? No, no, hardly. Oh, we well, sound out of breath. Leave me alone. What do you mean, leave you alone? Asshole. <laughs> Call me an asshole. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. You've been swimming in the pool at two in the morning and pooping. I don't swim. I would drown. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I have a real problem with this. Is this serious? Like, this makes zero sense, what you're saying. What's the big deal? I don't know who you are, but I don't think you are who you say you are. They send out a fucking newsletter if your dog shits too much. No, I don't swim and I don't go in canals. What do you want? I am not fucking swimming in the fucking lake. No, don't tell me to lower my damn voice on my phone. You're calling me, telling me that someone's going to be fucking putting tunnels under my house with dynamite. Come on, dude. Can you tell that other girl in the background to just shut the fuck up? Winston Beauregard, don't be so damn rude. Well, the reason I'm calling is there was a little bit of a schedule mix up and the crew is actually going to be coming by your house tomorrow at about 10 o'clock to install those new air traffic safety lights on your roof. You can't mandate the fact that I'm going to expose myself. Dude. Dude. What do I mean? Come on, dude. You've been swimming in the pool at two in the morning and pooping. What's the big deal? Thank you, Seven, for composing yet another awesome song for the show. You have officially replaced the aging and mentally unfit Henrik as the APCS musical director. Hello, everyone. You're listening to episode 27 of another prank call show for April 28th, 2020. I'm your host, Winston Beauregard. Today's show was executive produced by Ryan Jardina. What does it mean to be an executive producer? Well, to start, he's physically more attractive and intellectually superior to today's producers, Michael H. Richard. Wait, you can't just use my name like that. What a dick. Sagacious Zoo's Sex Cauldron, or is it Za? Sagacious Za? Alexa Singh. 
I don't have an Alexa, so that doesn't work on me. Ryan B and badcatvpn.com, who is clearly trying to stealth advertise on my show. Nobody go to that website. Thanks to them for supporting the show. And if you'd like to be a producer or a fancy pants executive producer, and of course, get all 49 boner sodes and counting, sign up at patreon.com slash another prank call show. But enough about that crap. I have an important announcement. And for some reason, Cody isn't here to introduce the new segment. So I'll just come out with it. Another prank call show now has a Spreadshirt shop. So for the three of you clamoring for APCS branded shirts, mugs, phone cases, baby bibs, ball caps, and a whole mess of other trash, you can get it all at shop.spreadshirt.com slash APCS link in the show notes. Ash Lee set the whole damn thing up and thanks to her for doing that because I've been busy working on this monster of an episode. But we've put several designs on there already, different versions of the show logo, the phone booth from the cover art Olga made, even a photo of my idiot face in full Winston costume. I really wish the bandanas weren't out of stock. Anyway, check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff on there and I'll be putting more designs up in the near future. In fact, I tried to add one the other day that was a hybrid of the APCS and Arby's logos but it was rejected for copyright reasons, sad. Okay, one last thing. I'm contractually obligated to request that you all stick around to the end of the show where I'll be playing a song composed by APCS superfan Brash, AKA Rince Prius. Enough blabbering, here's the good part of the show. Hello? Oh, hey, Allison? Yep. Hey, it's your neighbor's sleeve. Yeah, what's up? Hey, I just, um, I just wanted to call because I, I took a swab, uh, off your doorknob a few nights ago. You did what? Uh, I took a swab off of your doorknob so I can run some tests. And I got, I got the results here and, I, um, Are you shit me? Are you re- actually calling me to tell me that I have the coronavirus? Oh, no, no, of course not. Then what? Now, who are you? What neighbor of, of, of mine are you? Oh, um, well, I'm over here on just kind of around the corner from you but yeah i just um i was doing some swabs off all the all the doorknobs and everything just to run some tests Why? um well yeah. just just uh for record keeping and just to kind of well, analyze hey, what's your last name mcdyke hey, what street are you on um i'm over here on like i said just kind of around You're the- on well doesn't have any houses they're all side streets in the development so yeah. i guess you don't live on do you? Well, no, I'm just kind of on the corner. Well, the corner of what street? What, what do you want from me? Just tell me what you want. I don't want anything. I was just calling to let you know um, I got the results. And, you know, it shows that you're, you know, you're clearly not washing your hands long enough, you know, for the minimum 20 seconds. And how does it show that? Well, because... And how do you know it's me? And how do you know it's not somebody else in the house? Well, I guess I don't know for sure that it's you specifically but yeah somebody there because there there are traces how do you know it's how do you know it's not the person who left the propane who you know left their propane bill on my doorknob well i mean i guess i don't but look i don't understand why you're being so bitchy about this i was just calling because i'd like to know what your name is I already, and i'd like to know your address well i already told your you first and la- your first and last name and your address that's what i want and as soon as you tell me those things and i can check with tom he- in our development, then I can find out if you actually friggin' live here or if you're not just, you know, you, you know, jerking my chain. So okay. it's Steve on the corner of and yeah. what street? Well, I'm I'm over here on You're on yeah. yep. Okay. And, and what's your last name? McDy- for the third time, McDyke. Look, I don't understand why you're being such a bitch. I was just calling to let you know that, you know, there was fecal matter on your doorknob. There's fecal and, matter on my doorknob. And, yep. Okay. And, 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 and since I've been home every day and I have dogs who would have barked if you came and took a swab off my doorknob. Yeah. Well, it was uh, about three days ago and it was probably, I don't know, closer to midnight, one o'clock. I was up late just well, going around taking swabs. Why? Well, and your last name again? I, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. McDyckel. Mick what? McDyckel. Well, can you spell it? M I. C H D I C H A E L. Okay, and, and what's the what's the street? What's the number? 
Uh, 69. Okay, and so and, and you call, why are you calling me? Just to be a good citizen and let me know that you're creeping around my house at midnight? Well, I wasn't creeping around it. I just went well, up to yeah, the door. Well, you are, because at, at midnight people are actually sleeping, and you're creeping around someone's property at midnight. Well, so, again, I wasn't... No, that's all right, because that's all right, cause I'm just going to hang up now, and I'm going to call the police and have them check on this, Why okay? would you call the police? I was just doing a friendly thing. I just went up you to your front door. Thing and, and you had, and, and Holy you had crap, the man, you, you need to calm down. No, you need, I don't know you, and you call me out of the blue. Well, yeah, and just, you to, know, just to let you know to wash your hands a little longer, that's all. And, and how do you know this, and what, what testing procedure did you use? Um, well, I just, I used a, a few different, you know, types of tests. I just have a lab here in my basement. and. You have a lab in your basement, okay, and then, um, well, great. And what else are you doing in your lab? Uh, well, that's none of your business. I was just calling to let you know that, you know, just wash your hands. You call, and, you call and let me know that I have poop on my doorknob. Yeah, pretty much. It's gross. And, you know, in these times, these day, this day and age, you know, just got to be careful. Yeah, and, and you know something? Unless somebody put poop on my doorknob, there wouldn't be any poop on my doorknob. Well, I mean, I'm not saying there was poop on there, but it was trace amounts of fecal matter, so. And, and what else? So, what, so are you just calling me to let me know, and then what else? What, what's the next step? What else are we doing here? Well, the next step would be to wash your fucking hands. It's pretty clear. Okay, so Steve, and you, you gave me some name that I didn't even get. 69, there isn't a 69 because there's only like four houses on the street. Yeah, well, there is now. I don't know where you've been, but... Well, and so so what what else are you trying to get out of this phone call? Just call who else are you calling in the neighborhood? What other names do you have? Um. Well, uh, that's none of your business. What are you, an identity thief or something? No, I want to know who the fuck you are. So you want to you want to come up to my house right now? You can meet me, and that way I'll know that you're a real person, and you can show well, me your license. Well, no, my license. What? License yeah, for well, what? My, my driver's because license. Because I don't know who you are, and you called me out of the blue. So why don't you walk yeah. right up to my house? Well, I kind of regret talking? it because you're being such a fucking cunt muffin about it. Oh, I'm a cunt muffin now. Aren't you charming? Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Because I did last night and tell her she left her shoes under my bed, okay? Uh, my mom died um, a few years ago, so. Yeah, well, hopefully she had a good time before she left. I don't know who you are. And I don't know what scam you're pulling. But How the would fact this be a that scam? you have my phone number and that you have the, the names of the streets. So what I'd like you to do is if you come up here to my door right now, I no, want I don't, to I don't talk wanna, to you, and I will to, be nice to you. Otherwise, I'm going to go down to right now and find you. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? That sounds kind of threatening. I want to know that you're a real person and not pull in some scam. Well, how would this be a scam? I'm not asking you for anything. Then what, you're calling me to tell me I have poop on my door, and you came by and took a swab off my property at midnight? Well, actually, it's like you got poop on your hands. It just rubbed off on the doorknob. So I, don't think, uh -huh. I don't think you actually pooped on your doorknob. It's just you didn't wash your hands properly because you're fucking yeah, gross. Yeah, I do wash my hands properly because I'm aware of the pandemic. So I don't know what yeah. you want from and that's me. that's another thing. Like, why do you want me to come over there? We got a social distance, because you know? Because I don't know who you are, and I don't believe you actually live in this development. Oh, well, I gave you a fake address because I didn't want you to know where I live. But I'm, I'm definitely in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. So you're in the neighborhood, so yep. I'll just call the people that run the neighborhood and let them know that people are pulling a scam. Well, how because would this be a scam, dummy? Dummy? Yeah, you're being you dumb. Are, what charming. Do you know you what a scam is? Like you a scam know, in is... the battle of the wits, buddy, you're, you're just so totally unarmed, it's not even funny. I'm because unarmed. I don't believe you. If you actually were a real neighbor, our neighbors, we all know each other, and we all support each other in this neighborhood. So the fact that you called me out of the blue to tell me I've got poop on my doorknob, and you came by at midnight. Also, I ran um, it. Also, I ran that's it. Pretty, that's pretty friggin' creepy. Also, okay? I, that's pretty creepy. Also, I ran a DNA test, and, uh -huh. and it shows here that you are 14% doorknob. Uh, I am hope you're having a good time with this. I don't know if you're getting a little chubby over this or what. Chubby? But, you know, you can go bother somebody else. Is that a, because, boner? Is that a boner reference? Uh, I don't know. What do you think it is? <laughs> well, so I why don't a boner you reference. let me know who you are, and I'll call my, my neighborhood uh, association, and you can talk to me. You can tell me. And if you're oh, actually the, trying to be helpful, you can, actu you can actually, like... 
go to our development and say, you know, I'd like to do some testing, you know, and, and this is my name and my address. And people will say, wow, that's really great. Thank you. Because in our neighborhood, we actually do nice things for each other. We don't call people up randomly and tell them we've been creeping around their property at midnight. I wasn't creeping around, and this is a nice thing that I'm doing. You know, it's, it's costing if me it, money. If I'm not charging If it was a nice you. thing that you're doing, you would actually tell me who the hell you are. I told you my name is Sleeve McDykel like five times. Steve McDykel. Correct. And yes, and yet you haven't actually, I, I have M-I-C-H-E-I and then a bunch of other letters because you haven't actually. Well, it's spelled. not my fault that you're retarded and you can't write down a name. Really? I spelled it for you. Not really. You kind of like just ran over a bunch of letters. No, I spelled my so name. So how exactly did you find my phone number? You're illiterate in the first place. Pardon me? You're illiterate in the first place. Am I? No, actually, that's not true. I actually have a genius IQ, and I was in the American Honor Society. <laughs> you, almost fought, so don't you, almost forgot, even, you almost forgot the Q part of IQ. Uh-huh. Listen, buddy, you can go call somebody else okay. and put your hands down your pants and rub yourself off if this is what you're into. Oh, that's gross. But the next time you call me... <sighs> Just, just don't, just erase the fucking number from your phone, okay? Because I don't want to hear from you okay. because you're a douchebag right. and I don't know That's who mean. you are. But if I ever find out that you actually live here, I'm coming to your door with a fucking cop, okay? No, I'm, over, the- I'm over here on yeah, okay, whatever. That's not even my development, so I guess you're just making up fucking names now. Yeah. So why don't you, you go... It's like a few streets over from you. Why don't you go fuck yourself? How's okay. that? Okay, I love you. Good, but it's probably so small that you can't. So that's why you yeah, got to get your rocks off by calling people up and pulling this shit because you actually can't do it on your own, can you? No, you're right. It's pretty tiny. Have a nice day, little man. All right, I love you. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Ruth? Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Ira with the HOA. Yeah. Hey, I just needed to let you know, we're going to be sending a crew over to your house on Monday. Why? And, well, they're just going to be setting up a help machine in your in your living room. No, you're not. Um, well, no, I won't be, but the crew that we send over, they, yeah, they will. Dude, they should be there about 10 o'clock. What are you talking about? Um, we're, we're going to be setting up a help machine in your living room. It's an advanced I- AI I don't think so. Oh yeah, no, it's um, it's definitely happening. No, no, you're not coming. I won't let you in. I'll call I, the cops. I told Bye. you it, it's not going to be me, ma'am. I'm not. I'm just making the courtesy call. Cynthia wanted no. me to let you know. No, you're not coming to my house. I just said this I'm not a, going to. This is a spam, and this is baloney. Okay. It's not spam or baloney. I don't want to help anything. Leave me alone. No, you don't understand. Cynthia wanted me to call you and let you know about this. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll call Cynthia and see what happens. Well, Cynthia's indisposed. She asked me to call you. Oh, really? Bye. Hello? Oh, hi, Valerie. Who's calling? It's Ira from down the street. Okay. Hey, I was just wondering if you and William could do me kind of a favor. Okay. When you're out, you know, just about going about your business and everything, do you think you could stop walking so fucking close to my house? And you, and this is Ira? Yeah. Ira who? Jumping. Dumping or lumpkin? Jumping. You know, like the word jump with an ing. Hello? Hello? Hi, Tom. Yo. Hey, it's Ira with the HOA. Yes, Ira. Hey, I just needed to let you know on Monday we're going to be kicking some new rules into effect. Um, I don't know if you heard or not, but we applied for tax exemption status. Okay. And the the route we went down is we, we filled out the forms to establish a religion in the neighborhood. And so we just, you know, in order to kind of keep up with appearances and everything. We just had to come up with some new guidelines for the, for the residents. Okay. And so I just need to, you're, you're going to get the pamphlet in the mail that kind of spells it all out in detail, but I just needed to go over a, a few quick things. Cause 
you know, we're going to have some city inspectors here just to make sure everything's on the up and up. Um, well, so, um, can we do animal sacrifices still? Oh, that's silly. No, that's <laughs> you're making a joke. No, we're not going to be doing that kind of crazy stuff. Just a just a few kind of you know just basic rules. Like for example, on Wednesday, well, there's going to be no driving permitted in the neighborhood. And that's a religious uh, thing. Yeah, well, it's you know it's just one of the rules that we came up with for the religion that we're creating. What's the name of the religion? Homeology. Ah, uh, all righty. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I'm I'm afraid that if I joined it, I would probably burn in hell for uh, for all of eternity. So I, oh, no. I'm not going to sign up. I'm afraid. No, it's um. Well, number one, hell isn't um, a real thing, and number two, it's not optional. Um, you know, like all the residents here have to comply and join up. Hello, Tommy. Hmm. Oh, you yeah. Didn't, sorry, you didn't say anything. Um, well, in any case, listen, I, I need to get back to some other tasks right now, so... Well, what are you doing I, that's more important? I will than... see your pamphlet when it shows. Well, I just okay. need to let you know just a couple of more important details. No, no, I need to get back to my, my task here. What, so. What's your task? What's so Never important? Never mind, I need to get back to it. Thank you. Well, I just need to let you know... Hello? Oh, hey, Julie? Hello? Julie? Hi. Hey, yes. it's Ira with the HOA. Yes. Hey, I I just needed to call and ask if you could please stop graffitiing the neighborhood. I'm sorry. Uh, we got <laughs> several eyewitness reports, even going around and just writing things on people's doors and sidewalks, and it's it's oh, not. Oh, I had nothing to do with that. Okay, well we've got at least. I'm half- sorry. We've got at least a half dozen reports that it was you. It, it's no big deal. You're not in trouble. But, yeah, we just need you to... No, I, it was not me. In fact, the, I, I know who who did, who did it. Mm. Um, and I even stopped. She asked me if I was going to write something on her, her sidewalk. Because she's got a lot of graffiti out in front of her sidewalk. And it's all, like, messages from people. And she's left a little container of chalk there. Mm. And uh, I said, no. I said, I don't participate in that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it wasn't chalk that you were using. It looks like it was some kind of crayons and, and I don't know, just kind of erasable marker. So I, Oh, like, no. Like, it's not doing damage not. or anything, but you definitely need to just quit it, you know? No, I'm sorry, but I don't know who told you that I did that, but I would never do that. Well, I mean, like I said, several different people have said that you've been doing this, you know, writing on their doors and... <gasps> really? Yeah. No, but... that was that was not me. I'd like to have their names because I really... That I've not, I would never even consider doing anything like that. Well, Milo, uh, just a few houses down from you, he said that you wrote "Be Gay, Do Crimes" on their front door. He said that you wrote "Be Gay, Do Crimes" on their front door. No, that was not me. And he he showed us the footage because he's got Who's Milo. You know Milo and Gail over there at six. Milo and Gail. Just a few houses down from you. Okay. And he showed us the, he showed us the footage from his security camera, and sure enough, it was you. So yeah, just uh, just got to quit. Well, I think it. I need to go talk to them because well, I that, don't know how they would how would they uh, no I would never, never. I mean that's that's up to you if you want to talk to them. We just need you to knock it off. It's like I said, you're not in trouble. It's no big deal. No, I I mean I definitely whoever's been doing this should be in trouble. Yeah, well, no. I have no problems with that whatsoever. We're I not, even. Uh, I even told the lady that he was doing the chalk thing not to do that because she was the same, you know, the, the yeah. property. You can quit trying to pass the buck. We know it was you and you're not in trouble. We're not going to punish you. But just, you know, from here on out, just you got to knock it off. That's all. And what does that even mean? I'm in shock. What does that even Pardon mean? Me? What does that even mean? Be gay, do crimes. I don't. Is that like a joke? What? I don't know what it means. I have no idea what it means. Well, you wrote it on Milo's door. I don't understand why, but. I wrote, I've never even been up to their door. Mm, okay, well. I don't understand this. I don't understand why you're lying. We we have the footage. I mean, it'd be better if you just fessed up and apologized and we could all just. No, I can't. Just, I cannot fess up. Just, I did not do that. I don't even know what you're talking about. I know there's things written on the sidewalk with chalk. No, that's different. And that's, I know who does that. That's just kids playing. That's no big deal. We're talking about. No, it's, it's still a big deal. It's yeah. still a big deal, Ira, because okay. that's that's not they're they're defaming the property. That's not 
That's a big deal. I'm sorry. You're, I thought that was a big deal. I would never do that to anybody's property. You're just making yourself look silly, you know, just by, by denying it like this. It's kind of embarrassing at this point. It's embarrassing for whoever said I did that because I did not do that. Well, like I said, Milo. I'd like to see the footage. Well, go ask Milo. Okay. Milo and Gail. Okay. Go knock on their door, and, yeah. and I'm sure they'll show you the footage. <laughs> okay. I will, because I don't think that's fair. When you go when you go down there, can you not Sharpie and, you know, marker all kinds of gra- graffiti along the no. way? No. What? I mean, I well, that's not fair. I did not do that. Yeah. Well, you sound pretty guilty. I, I just don't, I don't think that. Who else said that I did that? Like the way your voice is raising? It has yes, that, it is. I'm very upset that yeah. I would be accused of something like this. Well, we're not going to do anything. It's no big deal. We still appreciate your residency and all that. Just, just knock it off. <laughs> I know it's just like a weird sense of humor. That's what you're known for, I guess. But what? You know, it's just I'm uh, known for a weird sense of humor. Well, I mean, just uh, the neighbors, the way they talk about you, like, oh, that Julie over there, she's always up to something. Are you serious? Yeah, it, you know, it's no big deal. We know you're you're kind of quirky and all that. Who knows if I'm quirky? I don't. I don't. What do you mean? This is just. This is really upsetting to me. And then he kept writing. He kept writing cactus on the mailboxes. Cactus? What's that? I don't. I have no idea. It was just one word, cactus. Cactus. I have. I don't know what you're talking about. I. This is very unfair. I'm, some, I'm very upset. Sometimes you wrote it with a question mark, like cactus. Like I don't even. Like what were you trying to ask? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense at all. I'm gonna go talk to Ira. I mean, to was it Milo and Gail? Yeah, Milo, Milo and Gail. Over and the- what's their address? Six. Okay. I'm I'm very upset. This is me. I have your phone number, Milo. This is Oh, don't be I'm upset. Call me. I am upset because somebody f- falsely accused me of something. Yeah. Well, it's not just one person. It's several different people. Who? Who else? Uh, there was Mr. Biggs. He he had a long list of things that he Who's you know. Mr. Biggs? Uh, he's not too far from you either. He said you pretty much wrote like a laundry list on his front door. Person. Mr. Biggs. Everybody knows Mr. Biggs. I'm sorry, but I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, okay. Well, he's at a few more doors down. Mr. Biggs. I, yep. I don't know who that is. You I said have no you, idea who that is. You said you wrote like a laundry list, you know, with various sundries and consumables. A laundry list? Yeah, I mean like a shopping list. Where? On his front door. It was weird. He showed us the That's photographs good. of it. And it matched the handwriting of the graffiti on Milo's door. Okay. I- I've got to go talk to them because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, even know who Mr. Biggs is. Well, he said that you wrote, come on down to whiz bangs on his front door. Whiz ba- What's whiz bangs? I have no idea. You tell me. You're the one that wrote it. Is that like a... <laughs> I like have a, no idea what is that is. Is that like a club or a restaurant or... Whiz bangs. I don't know what that is. Yeah. And then he said below that, he said that you wrote, we'll make you feel good. You'll have a great time. <gasps> Ew. No. No. Okay, Ira, what is your phone number? So it's please? like an advertisement. Like, is that your business or something? Like, you're trying to do some... My business? Are you trying to do, like, some kind of pirate advertising? No. What? Stealth I have advertising? No idea what, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm, I don't have a business. And then Olga... Over there at number, she said that you just kept writing APCS, like all over her driveway. What does that stand for? What is it? APCS. Does that I have no is idea. that like an acronym? Like does that? I mean, that does that stand for something? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Hmm. And they told you that that I Julie. Did this? Yeah, they had this. Uh, Olga had the security footage as well. She showed it to us. It's definitely you. You just look like what a. What do big, I look like, Ira? You look like a big stupid head for lying about it. Really? No, 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 no. In the in the have you seen the security footage? Oh no, no, that's uh that's above my pay grade. They don't give me access well, to that kind of stuff. Well, did they describe me? Mm, no, not to me. I'm just making the calls. You know, they don't really give me all the details. All right. I have to find out. This is not fair. I have to find out who's doing this. Mm. 
Okay. Well, maybe he's maybe somebody's uh, impersonating you. I don't know. I don't know either. That's why I need to see the security footage because uh, I don't. None of this is fair. We've lived there for eighteen years. Oh, is that I, right? I just yes. It's very very strange of you. Very strange behavior. Like I know we're all kind of. You coo- know what I'm doing right now, Ira? I'm sitting here making masks oh, to that's, donate. Oh, that's I nice. I mean, why would somebody? That this this is no. That's I, a good. I need to talk to. Him. You're a good person. That's very nice of you. Just <laughs> when you take breaks from making your masks, can you not graffiti the neighborhood? That's all. That's all I'm asking. Okay. It's Let just, me have your phone number. It's Ira, just a please. pain to clean up, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is your phone number, please? Oh, it's right there on your caller ID. Yep, that's how you okay. can. That's how you can reach me. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, have a nice day. Bye. Let me know how it goes with Milo and Gail. Yes, I, I definitely intend to go down there to see what's going on because yeah. I don't understand any of this. I, did, any I just talked to them a few minutes ago, so they're they're home if you want to go over there now. I will. I will. All right. I'll well, go talk to them. Thank you. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Hello? Oh, hey, Ward? Yeah. Hey, it's your neighbor, Ira, from down the street. Okay. Hey, I was just kind of... Curious, were you having any trouble with your internet over there lately? Just like in the last few days? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Oh, hmm. Yeah, because here's the thing. I was working on uh, just programming some software. And for the last, oh, I don't know, maybe month or so, I had all your appliances networked um, to my hive mind. Um, you know, just uh, just kind of an experiment I'm running and I don't know, maybe the last couple of days, like I just haven't been picking up your signal. Why would you be picking up my signal? Um, well, it's just, uh, like I said, just kind of a, an experiment sort of thing that I'm running. I've got all of your, like all of your electronics are just hooked up to my hive mind over here that I developed. And it just kind of collects, you know, all the data and everything. And it's just mainly just a hobby of mine. But yeah, the last, uh, I don't know, maybe two days or so, it's just, um, it's not really picking up your signal. Well, I don't want you picking up my signal. Well, why not? I mean, I mean, it's just, um, just kind of a learning thing, you know, like it's just, I'm trying to program an advanced AI and it just uses what's all. Your, what's your, what's your address? I'm over here at, uh, 7369. There is no 7369. Of course there is. Yeah. I'm just, um, I'm just a little ways down the road from you in the house with the purple trim. Um, but yeah, it's just it just kind of uses all all the data it collects from the network, you know. Just to how grow- are you tapping into my how 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 are you? I have a private network. How are you getting in? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. You know, private networks aren't really um, a challenge, you know, for the AI that I'm developing. But okay, it, so are you trying to are you trying to extort money from me? Is that your deal? Oh no 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 no! I'm not I'm not trying to steal anything from what, you. Money. What's your or, What's your last name? Jumping. I'm sorry. Jumping. Just like the word. And no, it's just, um, it just uses all the data to grow, essentially. It just, like, it just learns, like the more data. It okay. Why don't you give me the bottom line of what you're really trying to do? Because I know you're full of shit and you're starting to annoy me. Oh, that's kind of rude. <laughs> so why don't you just tell me what, what you're really up to and what you're trying to get from me? Well, I don't understand why you're being so paranoid. I'm just, you know, I'm just your neighbor. Like, I'm not, uh, you know, a bad guy or anything. Okay, so, to do anything. so why don't you turn over all your stuff to me and I'll start monitoring your appliances and network. Well, I don't do anything with the information. It's the AI. Well, I, like, I don't I even have do access to it. Either. Just pass it along to me and I'll just monitor it and build my own program. Well, and, I don't give you, you permission know, to do I'm that. I'm sure you wouldn't mind that, right? Well, I don't give you no. I don't give you permission to monitor my. Well, I'm not giving you. Per, I'm not giving you permission to monitor mine. Well, I don't. Nor did I ever. Well, no, I don't need your permission. It's the AI that's doing it. It's oh, not well, me. Okay, well, I don't need yours then. It's an independent entity. It just makes its own decisions and everything. And it just. All right, don't call me anymore. Well, no, hold on. I have to explain something. Hello? Oh, hey, Rick? Yes. Hey, it's Ira with the HOA. Yeah, how you doing? Not too bad. How have you been? Good, good. Hey, um, I just needed to let you know we're going to be sending a truck over to your house tomorrow afternoon. And they're just going to be dropping off a few barrels of oil that we bought. Hello, Rick? Yeah, I don't... What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, we just need you to store these barrels of oil that we bought. 
I mean, not just five of them. We bought several hundred, but we're going to be kind of dispersing them through the neighborhood. Uh, right now, you know, they're pretty much worthless, but you know, when they go up in value, we're going to sell them back and, you know, make probably, you know, close to a million bucks at least. So yeah, we're just going to be storing about five of them at your house and they can go, you know, wherever your, your garage or backyard, just wherever you have room. No, 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 no that's, that's not going to happen. I'm in a 55 and older community. That can't be done. Yeah, I know where you, you're over there on, uh, this is Rick. right. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to be storing them, you know, just until the value uh, goes back up. You're kidding with this, correct? No. And I, I'm not really sure why you brought up your age. That doesn't really have anything to do with it. It's just all the residents, you know, are just kind of expected to. Well, I, I, I've lived here quite a long time. So I, you're, you're, you're not making any sense to me here. So I'm going to make a call. What's your number? I'll call you back. Uh, I should be on your caller ID, but what's not making sense? I mean, I can try to explain it. You can't store you can't store oil drums at a residential home. Yeah, of you course we can. That. Yeah, it's all safe. It's they're in barrels. I mean, it's they're sealed you up. Cannot, and you cannot you cannot do that. Oh yeah, yeah, it's right there in the HOA charter. We we definitely can. Yeah. Now I know I got the charter here. I can go through. You can't do that. Well, it's right there. Just flip through. It's in Article Fourteen, Section Thirty One. You can't do it. How about the, how about the hazard? Uh, you know, for a possible fire or something. What? Uh, who handles that? They're in metal drums, idiot. They're not going to burst into flames. Did you just call me an idiot? Well, yeah. That, I mean, that's kind of a idiot thing to say. And anyways, do you want them to go in your backyard or garage or where's? You're not putting them anywhere. You're not putting them anywhere near here. Oh, they're okay. Yeah, they're going to be there tomorrow at twelve, about twelve thirty. So. You know, you might as well go ahead and just let me know now where you want where you want us to drop these off. Otherwise, we're just going to leave them in your driveway. Who authorized this? I'm going to make a call. Who is it that authorized it? The the council, the board of. Who, give me a name. I'll give you my name. Yeah, give me a name of who authorized it. Well, I mean, it goes all the way up the ladder to Jim. You know, our president. Uh huh. I don't, I just, you know, I don't understand why you're throwing such a shit fit over this. It's, it's for the good of the neighborhood. Like you're going to benefit too, unless you move out. It, 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 that's not the point. The point is that you're going to put drums in my home. Well, they're not going to okay, be in your house. Automobile here. I got, you know, I got a garage with stuff and I can't, I can't store that stuff in here. Okay. We'll put them in your backyard then. What's the big deal? I mean, if you want, we could um, we could probably bury them. We'll, we can dig up your yard and just bury them, but that'll be kind of an expense. So you'd you'd have to cover the cost of that. All right, let me let me call let me call uh, Jim and I'll call you back. Oh, Jim doesn't Goodbye. like you. Jim thinks you're a real motherfucker. So it's kind of just best if you just go through me. I can relay whatever dumb questions you might have. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Dale. Yes. Oh, hey, it's your neighbor's sleeve from down the street. Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think. Do I know? Have we met? <laughs> um, maybe just in passing. Probably not. You know, we've never really talked or anything. But Are no. you, you're, you're right here on North Road. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little ways down the road from you. And the, the only reason I'm calling is I was um, running some tests off of your doorknob. I took a swab of it uh, a few days ago. Why would you do that? You know, just for, you know, record keeping, things like that. And I just, I just want... Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry? You mean you came on my property? Well, I mean, just up to your door, you know, just, you know, just, I just took a quick, quick swab of, of your front doorknob and, and left. Where do I live? Uh, well, you're at the all right? Well, why would you do that? Well, again, it's just, you know, for records and also so I can just... Who's like, records? Well, I mean, just so I can run some tests and things. And that's actually... Why are, you, why are you running tests? Well, that's actually what I was calling. Um, I just haven't got to it yet. The, I got the test results from your doorknob here, and it shows that, you know, you're, you're clearly not washing your hands long enough, you know, for the minimum 20 seconds. Oh, Steve, what number are you on, North? Uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just a little ways down, down the road in the purple house. What number? What last name? Uh, 69. Which phone number? Uh, Hang on a minute. Who's that in the background? Hang on. Do 
I understand you've been trespassing on our property? No, I wasn't trespassing. I just came up to your front door. That is trespassing. Well, that, how is that any different from someone knocking on your door? Because we we don't have people coming into a house, and we would have known if you came in. I didn't come in. I didn't come in. I just came up to your front door on the outside, and I just took. We've a been call. out yard all day. Nobody has come to the house and swapped. Oh no, this was off. this was a few days ago. We've been home every day. Well, it was at about two thirty well, in the morning. You were probably right. sleeping. So, so are you working for Joe? I don't even know who that is. Well, then I guess you don't live in because that is the police chief. Oh, what does that have to and do with this And I home? think I should, I should give the police chief your name and phone number to check you out. No, all I was doing, it was just like a... You like, were trespassing on my property. Um, no, I came up to your front door. That's, How far did you walk to get to my front door? Well, I'm just a little ways down the road from you. Look, I don't care. Look, I mean, once you got onto my property, how far is it to my front door? Well, it's it's a ways, you know, because you're you know you're down that path and everything. But look, I don't understand why you're getting so upset but, with me. Well, well, what I what is your interest in what is going on at my house? Well, all I was doing was taking a swab off of your doorknob so that I could run some That's tests. None of your business. What is on my doorknob is none of your. Where well, I, where are you? Well, that's why I was Who calling. I, that's why I was this. listen. That's why I was calling because I found that you know you guys are clearly not washing your hands long enough. Like there were trace amounts of fecal matter on your doorknob, and so I was just. <laughs> Look, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to pass this along. That oh, there's that's harassing silly. phone call coming not, to the from the. I'm the just police. making a courtesy call. Like. Hello. Oh, hey, Thomas. Yeah. Hey, it's your neighbor Ira from down the street. Hey, I was just wondering uh, if you've seen my pet. I'm just kind of looking for a lost pet right now. Uh, sorry, what's it a dog? Um, or a cat? N- neither. Uh, it's it's my pet Rock. I I let him out earlier, and well, that was about three hours ago. I'm just okay. kind of calling around asking if anyone's seen him. Yeah, that's going to be hard to find. Yeah, he usually goes down to your yard. And just kind of rolls around in there. Yeah. And I was uh, just... Well, I can't know if I find it. Why are you laughing? I'm starting to uh, fear the worst that, you know, he's not coming no. back or something might have happened to him. Probably. <laughs> Can you? Do you think you can go outside and just call out his name? His name's Rocky. Sure. Yeah, got it. And he's gray. Oh. He's got a like a white stripe kind of down the middle. Okay, I'm on it. Hello? Oh, hey, Joe? Yes? Hey, it's your neighbor, Ira, from down the street. Okay, how are you? Not too bad. How have you been? Oh, well, we're still alive. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Hanging in there. Lynn's doing okay? Yes, yes, we are. No, we that's... are doing fine. That's but, good. Uh, bored, bored and isolated. Yeah, yeah, aren't we all? I was just wondering if um, you and Lynn can kind of do me a little bit of a favor. Sure, what is it? I was just hoping that, you know, next time you or her are out and about, you know, just, um, you know, just going about your business, do you think you could quit walking so fucking close to my house? Joe? Ira? Yeah. When, when did this happen? Um, well, it's not any one time. It's just, you know, multiple times. You just keep walking so fucking close to my house. And I was well, just... I think you got the wrong guy. Oh, this is Joe, right? Over there at three? Hello? Yeah, and and who are you, Ira? Um, Ira Jumping. I'm your neighbor. I'm just a few houses down the road from you. What number are you at, Ira? Seven. And why do you think I'm walking close to your house? I don't think that. Um, you, you definitely are. So, yeah, I was just kind of hoping, you know, you could quit walking so fucking close to my house. That's all. Okay, Ira. Nice to meet you. What do you mean? We didn't meet. It was a phone call. You won't admit that. 
Hello, Joe. Is, is this Ira again? Hey, yeah, it's it's Ira. I think I think we got disconnected um, before I got an answer. Ira, what, what, Ira, what, what's your game here? What do you mean? Oh, there's no game. I'm just you know, it's not the end of the world or anything. Like it's nothing personal. I was just kind of hoping you and Lynn could quit walking so fucking close to my house. That's all. All right, Ira. If you say that word one more time, what word? We don't I'll be walk there. All right. Property. Um, I, I is that a threat? I'm not walking. I'm not walking by your house, Ira. Yes, yeah, you do. No, so yeah. I don't need nasty language. No, you you definitely are. What? I, I don't understand why you're getting so upset. I'm just asking a, a neighborly uh, favor. All right. Well, you're you're ridiculous. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, hi, Susan. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor's sleeve. From down the street. Hi, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? Good. What hey. can I do for you? Well, I was just calling because I took a swab off of your doorknob a few nights ago. And I have the results here. And I kind of wanted so, to So, just... um, what, what number are you? What street number? Uh, well, I'm over here on the road. Just kind of a little ways down the road from you. And what number? Uh, six. Okay. Continue. And, well, yeah, so I, I just, um, I got the results here from the, the, the test I did. And it shows that you, you really haven't been washing your hands long enough. Um, you know, like after you go to the bathroom. Yeah, you're, you're really screwed up. What the hell are you talking about? You're not spy. No, Susan, I was just. No. Oh, hello, Aaron. Uh, hi, hey, I'm sorry. It, it's real hard to understand you. It's just like a real bad echo. Yeah. Sounds like you're in the toilet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, hi, Aaron. Yeah. Hey, it's Ira with the city of. Okay. Hey, I was just calling because on Monday we're going to be sending a crew over to your house at about ten thirty. Okay. And we're just going to be dropping off some barrels of oil for you to store. Oh, can, can you hold on one second? Um, okay. Hey. Yeah, sure. Hello? Oh, hi, Kurt. Yes. Hey, it's Ira with the city of... Okay. Hey, I just needed to let you know on Monday at about 1030, there's going to be a crew stopping by your house. And they're going to be dropping off some barrels of oil to store at your place just uh, temporarily. Okay. Yeah, the you know I don't know if you heard on the news or anything, but you know we bought up um, several you know several thousand barrels of oil, um, right. just, You know because it's cheap, pretty cheap right well, now. I, 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 it's great news um, because I vote for Trump. Don't show up here if you know it's good for you. Hello. Oh, hey, Jerry. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor Ira from down the street. Yes. Hey, I just wanted to let you know about the construction that's going to be going on tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, I thank you for giving us a, a heads up on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be. They're going to start around eight uh, in the morning tomorrow, and they're just going to be doing some tunneling beneath your house. Okay. Just uh, you know, so if you feel any rumbling or you hear any loud blast, so it'll be beneath the, uh, our house as well. Yeah, it's it's going to be going under several houses cuz I'm I'm having a gas pump put in my garage. And you know to put oh, it, okay. to put in the line and then the gas tank and everything, they just need to do some tunneling and digging and all that. Well, and the gallery's okay with this? Uh, I mean that's kind of a gray area. I didn't really ask, you know, cuz it's all going to be underground and you know, inside the garage, so they don't really have visibility on it. Okay. Well, so <laughs> Okay, it sounds I mean, uh, sounds unusual. I mean, it's it's all below ground. They don't really have any jurisdiction, so I was just like, "Fuck it," you know. I'm just going to do it. Well, and uh, so it's going to, but it's going to. They'll be burrowing underground. Yeah. To put this in or. Mm-hmm. Just uh, just a few feet below your below all our houses, really. Yeah, I hope we don't have any repercussions. Yeah, like I said, it's it's you know pretty slim chance there'll be a cave in. Yeah. Well. Okay. At, All at, right. at worst, at worst, there's only going to be you know just uh, 
you know, like pictures and things falling off the walls and shelves. Just it's just going to be rumbling for a few hours while they're doing digging. You may have, may knock some pictures off our walls. Well, you know, I mean, just the rumbling from the boring machine as it goes underneath. You know, it's going to get kind of shaky for a while. Well, that doesn't sound uh, good. Yeah, but it's, you know, like I said, it's only going to be for, what, three, four hours? Yeah, but we're not going to ha- take all our pictures off the wall. No, yeah, but that's, you know, that's your choice. Well, oh, and if we break any, that's your, that's up to you. Uh, well, I mean, that's, I'm kind of waving liability on it because I'm giving you the heads up, you know, like. Well, so, who, is, who is this? This is Cyrus down at five. Th- um, not to, at five, because we're at, at uh, uh, seven. And five's next door, Steve. Uh, okay, who is, is this Donna? Yeah. Hey, Donna. Um, do you mind shutting the fuck up? Because, you know, I was trying to have a conversation with Jerry, and you're just butting in. No, I'm trying to hear what you're saying, because it affects me, too. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, it's kind of rude of you just to nose your way into the conversation like that. Well, he's very hesitant about what you're saying, so well, I guess I just I want am to catch hesitant. up. Hey, this Jerry, sound, Jerry, Jerry, you need to, you you need to control your woman. You haven't permission from the gallery to do this. I don't need permission. It's it's all underground. You know, they don't have any say over that. They don't own the underground, man. Well, we we as people who are being affected by it well, certainly like, have only, something to okay, say. You're, you're blowing it out of proportion. It's only a few hours. And only like I said, a few just, hours, but may knock some pictures off of our walls. Yeah, big deal. Just a few photos. Where do you live? Maybe where some, do you live? I'm just a little ways down the road from you. And uh, where? Uh, I already told Jerry. Look, can you just go back in the no, kitchen? No, tell, tell us I again. Just, want, just rewind all this and start over again. Well, I don't want to now because you're getting all nosy and, and uppity about it. Nosy and uppity, except you must have some thoughts about the effects of it or you wouldn't be calling us. Well, yeah, I'm, that's why I'm giving you advance warning. And, you know, it's, it's on you if you don't take your knickknacks and photos down. Well, we're not going to do that. Okay, well, that's... that's and we're going to report this to the gallery. Oh, that's bullshit. They can't do anything. Well, we not, we're not giving you permission to do this. Oh, I don't need your permission. You don't own the underground either, man. Well, we're going to look into this, and we have lawyers. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, we do. Everybody's got a lawyer. What's your lawyer's name? Our lawyer is... Uh, yeah, see, exactly. You're Eric, trying to... Eric, Eric, trying Eric, to, Eric uh, yeah, I had to think it. about it. That's made up. And, well, I, excuse me. I don't know where you live. Do you live on... Yeah, I told you. I'm just a few houses down from you. And Stupid little bitch. So, which house are you? Uh, I'm not telling you. Don't worry about it. Five is what you told me. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I made it up. Maybe I was just throwing you off. Well, no, five is right next door to us, so I think you've got the wrong street. No, no, I'm over here on, uh, you know, the same one as you. Look, anyways, well, you I gotta get off the phone. I got a bunch of shit to do. So, you know, just, uh, just look out for the rumbling and... Well, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna look into this. Oh, there's nothing to look into. Well, yes, there is. And uh, tell me what you're doing. I don't. I guess I didn't get in on that. Uh, nosy woman. I'm putting a gas pump in my garage, and so I got a boring machine coming in. They're going to be doing some tunneling underground to put in the in the gas line. And your name is Silas. No, I said my name was Ira. I thought you told me it was Cyrus. No, I said Ira. You just you got a hearing problem. Turn up your battery. Uh, there is not an Ira on in the gallery. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not in on the list. Uh, why would you not be on the list? Because I'm kind of here unofficially. My presence is kind of on the DL, if you know what I mean. Well, no, I don't guess I do. Well, I'm a registered sex offender, okay? So it would have been big problems if I had to register with the with the HOA. And so, which house do which? Uh, who do you live with? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. It's none of your business. Look, I gotta, I gotta get off the phone. I got a bunch of shit to do. I gotta round up some some illegals to, you know, do all this construction for me. Well, uh, this is a mystifying thing. But no, you do not have our permission to do this. Yeah, I wasn't asking for permission. 
You don't have any say over what goes on underground, dummy. Well, we're certainly going to look into it, and we're going to do everything we can yeah. to There's nothing you can uh, explore do. what you're doing. There's nothing you can do. Just, uh, just accept it. You know, that's life. That's how things go sometimes. Sometimes you just don't have control, you know? It's a hard lesson to learn. I don't even think you live on our street. <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure I do. Been here for... <laughs> No, I don't think you do. I think you're pulling our leg. I think this is just a ruse. No, I think your face is a ruse. I don't know what you're trying to, to gain by this, but th- but this elaborate tale you're telling us just doesn't make sense. Oh, it makes plenty of sense. No, it doesn't. The more you think about it, the more sense it makes. No, no, it, does. it doesn't make sense. This is crazy. What no. you're proposing is absolutely crazy. I've never heard of it before. And is there anybody else that's ever done this? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's catching on. <laughs> unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Hey, also, while I have you on the phone, I should probably mention that uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was doing a DNA swab off your doorknob. And I got your test results here. And it shows that you are 12% doorknob. What in the hell does that mean? Just uh, something, something to think about. Just according to the DNA results that I got here in front of me, it says here that you're 12% doorknob. You're crazy. This guy's nuts. <laughs> no, you're nuts. <laughs> oh, boy. You must have planned this for a long time. <sighs> no, not really. I'm just winging it. Anyways, I'm going to get going. i got a bunch of other calls to make. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is too much. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Anyways, have a have a nice day, Jerry. <laughs> Keep that woman of yours in line. <laughs> oh goodness. I love you. Hello. Oh hi, Jamie? Yes. Hey Jamie, it's Cody with the water company. Uh huh. Hey, I just need to let you know that, you know, when you go to the bathroom, you should be washing your hands for twenty seconds. I was looking over the report from your water meter, and it shows that you've only been doing about maybe 10 seconds tops. Well, um, okay, fine. I I don't think that reflects what we've been doing, but that's fine. Oh, well, I mean, it just shows here on the report from your water meter. I mean, I don't know if it's you or Karen or, you know, somebody else in the home, but it's just based off of toilet flushes. We see here that when your toilet flushes that... Afterward, your sink only runs for maybe five, ten seconds, and that's well. No, that, it runs for a lot longer than that. That's I, then your readings are wrong. No, no, no. It's all accurate. It's, you know, we've got the smart. Well, meter. I'm telling you, you're, I'm telling you, your readings are wrong. If you want to come over to the house and actually watch us wash our hands, that's fine. Oh well, no, that would be silly. We don't, you know, we're not doing that. It's just, um, you know, it's just a courtesy call, and there's no need to get upset with me. It's just we want to remind everyone to be, you know, hygienic and prevent the spread of germs and everything. And yeah, it shows here on average that your sink runs for about seven seconds after each toilet flush. And that's, you know, it's just not sufficient. Just really a quick rinse. Yeah, okay. There's no reason to get all bent out of shape about it. It's just, you know, to prevent spreading the coronavirus and, you know, excrement and things like that. Just, Just wash your hands for 20 seconds. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You know, a good rule of thumb is if you take a permanent marker and just mark your hand. Okay, thank you. you just wanna... Thank you. I appreciate the call. Thank well, you very much. Well, why are Bye-bye. you being such a dick about it? I'm just trying to remind you to be hygienic. Hello. Oh, hey, Evan. Yeah. Hey, it's Ira from down the street. Yes. Hey, I'm just wondering if you've had any internet outages lately. The last few days, the hive mind I developed hasn't been able to connect to your network. And I was just You've been con- connected to my network? 
Yeah, well, well, the AI that I developed has, um, you know, it, it's been running no problem for the last few months or so, but I'd say starting maybe Thursday or Friday, it hasn't been able to, to establish a signal, um, you know, with your home network there. And I was thinking maybe it would set up some kind of polyphasic shielding on a rotating frequency. I'm not really sure. No, nothing's changed here. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, because, um, you know... What house are you in? Oh, I'm just uh, a little ways uh, down from you. I'm in the house with the purple trim. The purple trim? Mm-hmm. On, uh... I'm, I'm in the driveway looking. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm uh, kind of at the other end, um, you know, near the traffic circle kind of thing. But, yeah, it's just, um, you know, I've just been using all your your data to develop my AI. It just it just learns and grows from it and everything. But yeah, the last few days it just hasn't been able to establish a connection. Yeah, I still don't know what house purple trim. Yeah. I well, yeah, well it doesn't really matter. It's um you know, it just establishes the connection remotely anyways, so No, I know, but I don't know why you're using my data. Well I'm not using it. The the AI is. It just uses it to just to learn, you know, like the more information it processes, the more powerful it becomes. Yeah, I understand that, but I, I don't know. I don't, still don't know where you live, to be honest with you. Um, Are you home right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm down here in my basement. Ira is your name. Mm hmm. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so what, what are you looking for, Ira? Well, I was just kind of wondering if you had set up some kind of shielding or, or what the deal is. I guess I could just inject more nanoprobes into your into your system, and maybe that'll boost the signal. But the AI, yeah, I, uh, the AI is just kind of throwing a fit. Like it's it's getting kind of angry because it's it's like right now it's starved for data. What's your house number? Well, I mean, it's you know the equivalent of, of anger. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's kind of upset. So we just need to get that. What? That connection reestablished real soon here. What's your house number? One sixty nine. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there is a one sixty nine. It you know, like I said, it doesn't really matter where I am. It's just uh, it all connects remotely, anyways. No, oh, I'd like to meet you. Are you able to come outside? Well, I mean, we're supposed to be practicing social distancing, so now is probably not the yeah, best. Yeah, no, we'll we'll stand six to eight feet apart. You know how that goes. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really feel like it right now. I don't. I mean, what does that gain? We can just talk over the phone, right? It's the same thing. Well, I don't even know who you are, Ira. I don't. I don't think we've ever met, so I'd like to. Uh, okay. Well, what does that have face to do? To face. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with you know with the internet situation. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what's going on with my internet, right? Well, that's yeah. Why I'd like to meet you. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's you know I don't understand why you're being. That's fair, right? Well, not really. Well, why not? Well, I don't understand why you're being kind of a dick about this. You know, it's no big well, deal. Well, I, I don't understand why you're calling me to talk to me and you won't even meet me. Well, I don't need to meet you. I just need to, you know, reestablish the signal. Because this AI, it's getting pretty angry. I don't know if it's going to go rogue or what. But we yeah, got to see the problem, Ira. There's no 169. Yeah, of course there is. I'm, I'm not really all that far from you. You're not that far from me, but I'm... I'm down the street here looking for you. Oh, can you stop breathing into the phone? No, that's the wind, bud. It's, it's grossing me out. It's the wind, bud. Okay, I'm not your bud, pal. <laughs> All right, what's up, Ira? But anyways, I'm just going to inject some more nanoprobes into your wiring and, and just see if that'll boost the signal. Yeah, are you uh, 169... Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. It's around the corner from you. Oh, you're on. Yeah, I said I'm down. Oh, but you told me two minutes ago you're on. No, I don't. I don't think. You, what do you got? Corn cobs in your ears, there, son. <laughs> All right, Ira. Why? Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hop down on my bike. Okay. I'll ring your doorbell and we'll just chat about it. We'll get it figured out, all right? Okay. Well, don't you know? Like, put gloves on. I don't want. I don't need you giving me the, the COVID. And also, my AI might consider you a threat at this point, so I can't really guarantee your safety. From your from your artificial intelligence. Yeah, it it there's there's a pretty good chance that it'll think that you're you're a threat, and it'll inject you with nanoprobes. Yeah. 
and so it'll just kind of directly, you know, just take over your mind. Yeah. And, and, wow, that'd be wild. And essentially just use it for battery power. Yeah. Yep. Do you know the definition of nanoprobes? Uh, of course I do. Give it to me. Why would I need to do that? I just, you, you say it a lot, and I know the definition. I don't know if you do. Well, okay, tough guy. You tell me then. It's a submigrotic system. According to you. According to me. That's your definition. Look, don't don't try to outsmart me. No, you you sound very intelligent, much smarter than me. But well, yeah, I'm a, why don't we just do some social distancing and we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, that's what we're doing right now, idiot. Hey, Ira. Hey. I didn't call you a name. You don't call me a name, all right? Well, no, you're just being kind of an idiot. That's all. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be down there shortly. Down See where? You in a bit. Okay. Watch out for the nano probes. Bye. Resistance is futile. <laughs> Hello? Oh, is this Steve? Yes. Hey, Steve, it's Ira with the HOA. Okay. I just I just need to let you know we're going to be sending a guy over tomorrow afternoon, and he's going to be dropping off some barrels of oil to store at your house. Uh, uh no. Um, yeah. Nobody's going to be dropping off barrels of oil to store in their house, no. Yeah, no, it's just temporary. Um, no. I, no, nobody's going to be dropping barrels of oil by our house. Yeah, no, it's it's for the HOA, like I said. No, it's not for the HOA. No, I do not want anybody bu- dropping off barrels of oil by our house. Yeah, they're, well, they're going to. They're going to be there at about 1230. No, no, they're not going to be here. I'll call the police if they're here. No, sir, it's not a police matter. It's it's for the HOA. We we bought a bunch of barrels of oil, you know, for dirt no, cheap. No, no, you're not going to drop barrels of oil over my, my house. Why are you yelling at me? I'm just... You know, this is good. This is for the good of the neighborhood because we're going to. It's not good for the neighborhood. No, you cannot drop barrels of oil over to my house. Yeah, well, we're going to. We we got to start uh, no, this. No, you're not. You know, we we got to. Hello. Oh, hey, Steve. It's Cyra again. I think we got disconnected. And. Oh no! I hung up on you. Oh, that's very rude. Uh, I don't understand why you're objecting to this. It's going to make the neighborhood a bunch of money. You know, once the stuff is profitable again. No. What do you mean? No, no. you're not going to drop bar- barrels of oil in my house. It's you can't my property. You're not going to drop anything off of here. Well, no, it's it's within our jurisdiction to do this. I uh, no, like, it's not. You're a scam, you, and stop calling here. I'm oh, not please. a scam. I'm. Yes, just, you are. Goodbye. Why do you say that? Hello. Oh, hey, Cheryl. Yes. Hey, it's Sleeve with the uh, HOA. I'm wait a second. Hold on a second here. Hurry up. Hello? Oh, hi, James. Who's this? It's Sleeve with the HOA. I have no idea who you are. Um, I- I'm with the HOA. Yeah? And I just needed to let you know we're going to be sending a truck over to your house on Monday. They're going to be dropping off some boxes on your doorstop. Yes. And they're just going to be full of some reusable, washable rags. But I need what? them. What? No, we're going to be delivering. I need them. We're no, gonna- I don't want you to drop them. I got. I can't put any more in. What are you talking about? We're we're going to be dropping them off, not taking no, them. No, I think you're going to pick them up. You're mm-hmm. supposed to pick them up. No, no, I think you're. There's a commis. What are you talking about? You're supposed to pick up stuff from here. No, no, no. We're going to be dropping. I think you might have the wrong people. No, this is James, right over there at. And who are you? This is Sleeve. I'm with the HOA. Woo! What HOA? Ooh. Village Grand. Woo! Yeah. I have no idea who you are. I have yeah, no I, idea what I don't think we've ever met in person. I don't think we've ever met. No, this is James. That one. Right? And Cheryl? No. It's no, not. You got the wrong people. Oh, bullshit. Don't so lie to me, me, James. Then tell me who you're talking for. Well, I'm trying to explain. See, on Friday we voted to ban toilet paper in the neighborhood, and so yes. we're, and so we're just going to be delivering boxes of you know washable rags to all the all the residents here. Yeah, well, I'm selling them. No, you're going to put me out of business. You're selling rags? Washable rags? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No way to wipe your ass with them. Okay, that's rude. I don't know why you would use that kind of language with me. No, we're going to be giving them out for free, though. It's not any, you know, it's no charge or anything. It's just because, you know, we're banning toilet paper in the neighborhood. 
That too. What do you? All right, you, that's a. What, what? Are you on drugs or something? What's wrong with you? No, I think you may be on drugs. No, <gasps> no, I'm not on drugs. Yeah, I'm, you are on drugs. Or the people behind you are on drugs or drinking. People behind me? What? I don't. What do yeah, you mean? I don't know who's with you. No. I don't so know. where's that? What's your address, sweetie? Um. Well, that's none of your goddamn business. Well, it's none of your goddamn business either. Well, it's not, not any of my business. What what I'm doing. I didn't ask what you're doing. And how did you get my number, by the way? Um, because now I'm going to call the police. Why are you calling the police? I work for Cynthia. You're in you're in the directory. She wanted me to call everyone and and let you know let everyone know about the to- yeah, toilet well, paper. Well, now my wife is all upset now. Oh well, tell your. And she's running. She's what? running around. She's like panicking now. Why is she panicking? Because you guys are upsetting her. What? We're just banning toilet paper. It's not no, the end so of the world. You'll be, no, no, you'll be okay. Well, tell her to calm down and just go, you know, go bake oh, some cookies or something. What's your address, Leaf? Just, just give her a big pat on the butt. What's your address, Leaf? Uh, well, I'm over here on some... I don't see what We're that... Ha- s- well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you are on... S- Whereabouts on... S- because you're not listening to anything that I looked at. What? Looked at... I'm, I don't know. Uh, I don't understand. What are you drinking? Uh, water? What kind of water are you drinking? What do you mean what kind of water? It's water, idiot. Yeah. I mean from the spigot, from the bottle. Yeah, it's just parified. Just ran through a Brita fill, you know, Brita pitcher. Oh, uh, that might be the problem. It got to your brain. Okay, are you making fun of my stutter? Is that what you're getting no, at? No, what stutter? You making fun of my problems? I didn't make fun of anything. I just have a stutter. I just have, you know, I just have autism. Are you making fun of my disability? That's a pretty that's a pretty it, dick thing to do. Do you think everybody in this community is getting this? What are you talking about? Getting what? Well, what are you what are you selling? I'm not selling anything. We're delivering boxes of reusable rags to replace the toilet paper. That's all. Well, I'll go pick it up at the clubhouse. That's fine. You no, that's okay. There. We're just gonna be dropping it off on Monday. They're not Who's here we yet. Are? Who's we are? Who's we are? I thought you were doing it. No, I'm just making the courtesy calls for Cynthia. That's all. Well, like I said, you were where at one you said you were on? Yeah, I'm over here at 369 Drive. Okay. But I don't understand what that has to do with anything. Well, I think if you're doing something in the neighborhood and you should be helping out and doing everything nice and you want to be a real good guy, why wouldn't you tell me, you know, up front where you were from? Uh, well, what does that I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with the topic at hand. We're banning toilet paper. What does my address have to do with it? Well, I guess it has a lot to do with it. Hey, can you tell Cheryl to shut the fuck up? Because she's just barking in the background and it's getting kind of annoying. Can I ask you who the fuck you are? Um, I... Because I'm about ready to come over there and really wrap your head around a pole. Oh, you can't make threats like that. That's It's not a threat. It's not a threat, my friend. Um... It's a promise. Oh, okay. Because well, you... when we're done with this, I'm going to find out. Hello. Oh, hey, Marguerite. Yes. Hey, it's Ira with the HOA. Yes, Ira. Hey, I just need to let you know on Monday, we're going to be sending a truck over and they're going to be delivering a couple boxes of rags to your doorstep. Uh, okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you've heard yet, but we just voted just the other day, a uh, unanimous vote. We're going to be banning toilet paper in the neighborhood. So we're going to be... <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> So yeah, we're just we're going to be supplying everyone with uh, you know reusable, washable rags. Oh great, great! And we've got them coming in on a truck overnight. So yeah, they'll be here. We'll, we'll just have them delivered to your house. Okay. Any special time? Uh, they should be there at about ten, ten thirty. Okay, great. And if you're not there, we can just leave them on your doorstep, whatever. But oh yeah, that'd be fine. That'd but, be fine. I've used them before. Oh okay, yeah, that's that's good. So this is all hat to you then. Yeah, yeah. And then um, later in the week, we're going to be coming by and just collecting all the toilet paper that you have left. We're just going to be getting rid of it. Mm, I don't know about that. What do you mean? Well, I'd like to keep it for an emergency in case oh. the rags run out. Oh, no, no. It's, um, like I said, it's it's banned. And, okay. You know, it's right now we're in a kind of a transitionary period, so you can keep using it until you got the rags, but... 
Yep, once we, we come back around later in the week, that's it. No more toilet paper. Okay. This is just better. All right, well, I try to abide by the rules. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that way we won't have any trouble with you. Okay, good. We won't have to toss you out on your head or anything. No, no, no. Hey, also... I have enough, enough trouble getting the grass out between my uh, driveway. Yeah, well, that's, you know, a complaint for another time. Hey, also, we just need to update some records real quick. Do you have any pets in the home? Cats or dogs? One, yes. Oh, do you have a, a cat or a dog? Dog. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put you down for one dog. And on Thursday, we're going to be sending a laboratory technician over. Mm -hmm. And she's just going to be carbon dating your dog. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's just because we, we've had some trouble in the neighborhood recently with time traveling cats and dogs. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we, we're just trying to root them out and figure out what's going on okay. here. Okay. So, uh, mine's 12. I know what, what, what my dog is. Well, I mean, like chronologically, it might be 12, yeah. but we don't yeah. really know what year it's from. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to carbon date it, and we'll be able to figure out exactly what time period it came from. I see. It, it, now, how come you're calling there? Are you calling everybody? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just letting them yeah. know about the toilet paper ban and the carbon dating of the pets okay. and the time traveling. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be expecting them. Okay. And then one last thing. Mm -hmm. We took a swab off of your doorknob uh, a few days uh -huh. ago. And it shows here in the preliminary results that you haven't been washing your hands long enough. Okay. Yeah, it's um, you know, it, we picked up some trace amounts of fecal matter. <clears throat> and so I just need to let you know, just, you know, make sure you wash your hands for that minimum 20 seconds. Okay, great. I'll do that. It's technically a, you know, a, a violation of the HOA bylaws if you... Okay, well, we got to keep up with those. Yeah, it can't be spreading, you know, the corona and, and poop right. everywhere. Right. Well, you take care now. Yeah, all right, we'll just, you know. I got to go. There's somebody at my door. Oh, who's there? I don't know. Well, you know, just answer it with me on the phone. I, I want to listen. No, I can't. I got to go. Well, bye -bye. Maybe, maybe you can pass the phone off to him. I can. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Olive? Who's calling? It's Ira with the water company. Yes. Hey, I just needed to remind you that when you go to the bathroom, you need to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Okay. Um, I, I see here on the report from your meter that whenever your toilet flushes afterward, your sink only runs for about 5 or 10 seconds tops. And that's just, um, you know, it's about half of the minimum you should be washing your hands. Just um, Okay. Basically. Well, I'll tell the household. I'll tell everybody. We have more than one bathroom. Yeah, so I don't know everybody. if it's you or somebody else in your household. We don't, you know, we don't have that kind of accuracy. But just based off of the toilet flushes and then the sink running, it's it looks like somebody is just basically rinsing their hands, and that's you know, it's not really sufficient to prevent the spread of germs. Okay. Just kind of gross, you know. Okay. Good rule of thumb is just to take a permanent marker and just mark your hand and wash until the marker disappears. Okay. I will let the household know. Otherwise, you know, you're just kind of spreading poop and who knows uh, what else. What you eating? Um, I'm having my dinner right now. Oh, what, what what's for dinner? Mm -hmm. Um, it's not important. Oh, I'm just, so. you know, just making conversation, that's all. Just trying to be okay. friendly. Yeah, Ho I made a pot of soup, so. Hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully you wash your hands before you made it. Otherwise, you're, mm -hmm. you're eating poop, essentially. Okay, okay. And that'd be gross. Mm -hmm. Unless unless you like eating poop, I don't know, but you know it's probably not healthy. Okay. Is it is it poop soup? Okay. Yes, it is. It's poop soup. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, just um, you know, consider not eating poop. Okay. We won't eat poop in my household. That's okay. all. That's all I'm suggesting. Poop is probably not good for you. Yeah, I think I'm intelligent enough to understand that i don't right? know i don't know if you're eating poop soup that's you okay know, your your intelligence is in question okay so let me go now okay have oh. a good evening oh, okay bye -bye. Yeah, you, yeah you too <laughs> hello oh hey Dana. yes hey it's it's winston with the hoa yes sir oh sorry i was, eating, you? I was eating a cracker hey i was just it's okay. I was yep. just I was just calling to let you know that 
uh, tomorrow we're going to be sending a truck over to your house uh, about 12 o'clock. And they're just going to be unloading a few barrels of oil. We just need you to store them uh, just temporarily. Are you kidding or what? What is, what is this, a joke? Um, no, it's just, um, it's just we bought a bunch of barrels of oil, you know, because it's like dirt cheap right now. And, hmm. And anyways, yeah, we just, uh, you know, it's kind of worthless right now, but in the future, it's going to make us a bunch of money. So, yeah, we just got to store this, um, you know. No, we, I don't think, I don't think so, but. Oh, yeah, no, it's. it's just, we're all doing it. Like we're all storing, you know, at least five barrels each. Cause we bought several hundred barrels. Who's we? The HOA. <laughs> At where, of which HOA from where? Five barrels of what? And yeah, we're just, uh, who else, who else got, who, who else is storing them? Oh, pretty much everyone. We're dispersing them throughout the neighborhood. Cause we don't really have room to store, you know, all these barrels ourselves. So, yeah, we're just going to drop off five of them at your house, and you can put them, well, you know, in the garage yeah. or backyard, wherever. What was your name again? Winston. Winston who? Beauregard. Uh, yeah, Beauregard. Yeah, I don't know any Winston Beauregard, but just, yeah, just take me off ever... your list. No, I'm not. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm with the HOA, sir. I'm... Beauregard? Yeah. Hey, is that your wife in the background? Yeah. Maybe. Can you, in can the, you, tell, in the can you tell Lynn to shut the fuck up? It's really distracting. Like, I'm talking to you, and then she's yammering. Is that the language we use it? Hey, Lynn, get back in the kitchen, sweetheart. Talking to the man. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm not your buddy, yeah. fuckface. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, hey, no, this isn't Cynthia. It's Winston. Is this Lynn? Who? Is this Lynn? Who are you calling? Uh, Lynn and Dana. Mm. Hello? Yeah, could I have your phone number, please? Um, it's on your caller ID, idiot. No, it's not. It comes up. I'm Cynthia. No, it's not. Well, yeah, I work for Cynthia. Don't be a retard. Look, I'm just trying to let you know about the barrels of oil that we're dropping off there tomorrow. You're a retard? Yeah, you're being retarded. I'm just trying to let no, you, you know. No, call... you said you were a retard. I never said that. Well, you know what? Beauregard, what's your first name, Beauregard? What's your first name? Last when? name is Beauregard. Three. Okay, shut up, and I'll tell you my name. Shut up. My my first name is Winston. Winston. Okay, Winston. And anyways, they'll What's be there. To, they'll be there tomorrow. I'll call you back. No, don't call me back. They'll be there tomorrow. Oh, to, I will. Don't no, worry. I don't give you permission to call me. Hello. Oh, hey, Gail. Yes. Hey, it's Ira with the Homeowners Association. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Hey, I just needed to let you know about the construction that we've got going on tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you heard or not, but our sensors detected some seismic activity underground um, just a couple of weeks oh. ago. Oh, uh-huh. And it doesn't look too threatening or anything, but just as a precaution, we've got a contractor coming out, and they're going to be building a roll cage around your house. You're kidding. Oh no, no, it's. You know, uh, can I hand the? I'd like to hand the phone to my husband because seismic activity is a bit of his ballywick. I mean, that's what he. Oh, okay, yeah. I, and so, if you could explain it to him, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, thanks. You're a woman. He's right here. Hold on. Hello. Oh, hey, Milo. Yes. Hey, it's Ira with the homeowners association. Uh huh. And I was just calling because I don't know if you heard or not, but our. HOA sensors picked up some seismic activity underground recently. And just to be honest... Uh, no, I haven't heard that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's um, it doesn't look like it's too big of a deal, but just to be on the safe side, we've got a contractor coming out, and they're going to be building a roll cage around your house. So they'll be there tomorrow at about between what, 8 and 9 in the morning. A, what's a roll cage? Uh, it's like a metal frame sort of thing. It just kind of gets bolted and welded to the exterior of your home, just to, you know, reinforce the structural integrity. Uh, and what does that affect the other houses in the area? Uh, well, the seismic activity was localized beneath your house. So for now, we're just doing yours, and we'll just kind of reassess over the next few weeks. Now, who, who made this decision? Uh, the HOA. Yeah, it's just... Uh, uh, 
and we're taking care of it. You well, know, it's but, nothing you need to worry about, but just, uh, you but know. That, but we don't have an opportunity to, if we object to having something like that done to our place, you're telling me I don't have an opportunity as a, as a, an association member or owner of the property. Well, I mean, why would you say anything before this is done? It's for the safety of your home. You don't want the walls falling down around your ears, do you? I mean, it, why would you object to that? I, I realize that, but I was here. We've lived here for several years now. I don't, we didn't feel anything. Yeah, it, it was pretty deep so, below ground, but it's, you know, it's an indicator of, you know. And, and, it, and, and if it was some sort of seismic problem, it affects more than one home. Well, yeah, you know, but it was. Earthquakes are, I mean, I, 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 you know, I helped create the earthquake authority. No, oh, okay. So I know what I'm talking about. Big it's shot. Not, you just don't come out and fix one house, and to the to to the to the extent that there's a problem, it would affect uh, you know miles of home. Okay, Professor Eyebrow. Listen, it's you know we can't afford to do everybody's houses, so for now we're just starting with yours, and then you know we'll we'll go from there. You know, like I said, over the next few weeks or months. We'll, we'll just kind of reassess and see if we need to expand it. But, yep, yours is the, the first house first house that we're going to be doing. And how, and, how is, and how was this house picked, this specific house? Uh, like and it, why am I just now hearing about this? You know, well, the day before, I'm hearing that you're going to come out and be doing some sort of major mitigation on my house, and I have absolutely no say in this? That's a load of crap. Well, I mean, it, it, it impacts the surrounding houses. You know, if your house crumbles, then... You know, it's kind of a safety issue to all of us, so. Well, if my house crumbles, every house on this street's going to crumble. Well, for now, all we have That's is. That's my point. You can't, do, you can't do this with just one house. Oh, That's we. Not gonna do, if you're telling me that this is an experiment to see it, whether, in fact, it's going to work, whether and if we actually do have an earthquake. I mean, I don't even do understand why you're being such a whiny little bitch about this. It's going to protect your house. It'll keep it from, you know, crumbling and. It's all. Yes. Oh, hey, Milo. It's Ira. I think we got disconnected. Uh, no, I hung up on you because oh, of your you... language. Well, what do you mean? No, I was, I'm sorry. I was just getting frustrated because you wouldn't shut up. Like, I couldn't get a word in. Shut up. What's your name? What is your full name? Ira Garrett Jumping. And, and who do you work for, Ira Garrett Jumping? I'm over here in the we're club. Calling, we're, calling the, we're, we're calling the Homeowners Association now and get this thing sorted out. Well, that's and so, until that's sorted out, nobody. See, there you go again. You're just blabbering away. You, you ask me a question, then you won't let me answer. Hello? Oh, hey, Donna? Yeah? Hey, it's your neighbor, Sleeve. Okay. Hey, I was just wondering if you could please stop taking the socks off of my clothesline. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you have uh, the wrong number. Well, this is Donna, right? You're over there at... Yeah, I don't come near your house. Yeah, no, I, I got you on my surveillance camera. You were taking the socks off my clothesline, and I don't know you're if you're... You're crazy. Just... No, you're it's... crazy. I haven't left my yard. Um, it's it's definitely you. It's no big deal. I'm not mad or anything. No, but... I, I didn't take socks off your clothesline. Which house are you at? Uh, I'm in 69, just you know, a few houses down from you. I haven't been, I haven't, I haven't walked on that street. It's not me. Well, it's, it's definitely you. I don't understand why you're lying. No, it's, I don't think so. No, I, I, I have not been out of my yard. I can, I can tell by the pitch of your voice that you're guilty and I got the footage of no, you. No, you're crazy. Wait a second. Yeah. Hello? Oh, hi. Who's this? Uh, who's this? It's your neighbor's sleeve. I'm just a little ways down the, down the road from you. I was talking to Donna. I didn't. I don't know why she handed it off to you. Uh, we haven't left the yard in weeks. Okay. Well, I, I have her on my surveillance camera taking the socks off my clothesline. It's it's impossible. It's happened on more than one occasion. And you know, I don't, it's. You know, I'm sure she's just trying to be funny or or whatever. But it's no big deal. Just I I would just like her to quit doing it. I have no idea what you're talking about. My it's, wife has not left the yard in three weeks. Well, that you know of. I mean, but I can I can show you the footage. It's it's clear as day. It's definitely her. It's definitely not her. Well, I mean, you're crazy. Obviously not. I have the footage. 
I can show well, you. It's not, it's not the footage of her because it, she hasn't left the yard. Well, it's her, it's her on the camera, so I don't know what to tell you, but... You're full of shit. Oh, there's no reason to get all, you know, testy with me about it. Well, you're calling up and accusing somebody of doing something, and it's impossible. Well, how is it impossible? I mean, she has two because legs. Because I've been here the whole time, and I know she hasn't left the yard. So you keep track of her 24-7? Yes, I do. I've been home for five friggin' weeks. Oh, you're a deadbeat. I'm a deadbeat? Yeah, I mean, you're just sitting around at home all day monitoring your wife. No, actually, I'm working from home. Yeah, okay. Well, see, you're busy working then. You don't know what she's up to. She's right here next to me. No, I, I mean, like, when you're working, you know, she's wandering off and taking socks off my clothesline. You're fucking crazy, man. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Yeah, well, Motherfucker. don't call here again. Thank you. Well, can I have my socks back? I'd give them back if I had them, but I don't have them. Is she making sock puppets? Or, I mean, what is she doing with them? I don't even know. Who, do you even know what she looks like? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm just... What's she look like? I'm a few houses down from you. I know all the neighbors. You do? Well... I've never even heard of you. Well, the, that's because you're a deadbeat. And I've been here for 35 years. Well, that's because you're a deadbeat and a hermit. Well, you're an asshole. Well, your face is an asshole. I don't need them back right now and just, you know, because, you know, the whole social distancing thing. But when this is all over, you know, do you think I could get those back? We don't have them. We haven't left the yard. Well, I have technology on my phone that shows that you're lying. Well, you'll have to show it to me. It's measuring the, you know, the cadence and tone of your voice. Body temperature. Wonderful. And heart rate. You know, if, you, if you're if bored and you get nothing to do, call somebody else. Oh, okay, I will. Okay, goodbye. Right. I love you. I love you. Hello, this is Fran. Hey, Fran. It's your neighbor, Sleeve, from down the street. Okay. Hey, I was just calling because a few days ago I took a swab off of your doorknob. And I got the results here from the tests. And so I was just kind of wanting to go over those with you real quick. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know who you are. Oh, and it's... I don't think you were at my door. Yeah, it was um, maybe three, four days ago. Um, this is Sleeve. I'm just a little ways down from you. What number? Uh, 169. And why would you have been at my door, though? Um, well, I just took a, a swab off of your doorknob. That's all. Why? Uh, just basically for record keeping and, you know, just to, so I can just kind of run some tests. Stuff but, like that. But who would give you that authority to do that? Well, I didn't ask, you know, for, I don't need anyone's authority. I just did it, you know. It's just uh, kind of a courtesy thing. Of course you need your authority. First of all, you were on my property. Well, I was just you had your, no authority to come on our property. Well, I was just at your front and door. No authority to come to my door. Well, I mean, do you tell that to everyone that just comes up and knocks on your door? I mean, that's a little silly. Did you knock on my door? No, no, I just, it was late. It was like, I don't know, 1 o'clock, 2 in the morning, something like that. I didn't want to wake you. But yeah, I just took a quick swab off of your doorknob and, and walked okay. away. That's all. I, I'm, I'm ending this conversation. Well, no, I, ma'am, I just need to let you know about the results here. Um... I, I don't just, want to know the results because you had no right to take them. Well, it's just a friendly thing I'm trying to do. Yes? Oh, hey, Francis, it's Sleeve again. I think we got disconnected. No, I was hanging up on you. I. Oh, why would I you really do that? That's very like rude. That's very rude. Well, ma'am, I just well, want... I, I find it rude that you were at my house at 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, I just I just wanted to let you know the, the test results show that you haven't been washing your hands long enough. You know, like after you go to the bathroom... And, you know, it's just kind of a... This is totally inappropriate. Well, no, I'm just trying to, you know, be neighborly, that's all. Just trying to help, you know, people practice proper hygiene right. and everything. I'll take care of myself, you take care of yourself, and good luck to you. Well, you know, we all got to watch out for... Hello? Hello, Charlene? Yes? Hey, it's Winston with the HOA. Yes. Hey, I just needed to let you know... We're going to be filing for tax exemption status. Okay. And 
Um, I guess the way we have to go about it is we're going to designate ourselves as a religion. So there's just going to be some kind of rule changes, just minor stuff in the neighborhood that I just needed to let you know about. Why do we have to designate ourselves a religion? Uh, Why it, can't we go under? Well, it's the only. Uh, I guess it's senior some, citizens. Well, I guess that wouldn't work. It was it was some kind of legalese. I don't really understand it, but we're just kind of looking for a loophole. And yeah, this this one's going to work for us, but we just kind of have to adhere to certain guidelines now. Which are? Um, well, just for example, any violations in the neighborhood. For now on, they're going to be called sins. Oh. And it's, it's basically just terminology. It's really no big deal. And another thing is, instead of the HOA fees, they're going to be considered tithes. But we also have to raise, uh, they, they have to be raised to 10% of your income. I don't think so. But it all goes back into the HOA, you know, so it's... Uh, no, it comes out of my pocket and goes into the HOA. Well, yeah, but it transforms into, I'm you know, not giving anybody my um, income information. Well, I'm not asking for your income information. I'm just saying hold, that... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, calm down. Please don't tell me that. Well, you're, you're having a shit fit. I, just, just... I, number one, I don't like the lie that we're a religious group. Oh, we are that now. Me. Yeah, we, we voted on it. That's... Here's, my so here's my husband. I don't want to talk to him. Why? He's, we had a, you know, just don't worry about it. I don't no, wanna... no, uh-uh, I want to know why. Uh, okay, I, he's kind of a dick. Oh, really? Yeah, I just, you know, I didn't want to, it's nothing personal. It's just, you know, a, a few of us in you the neighborhood. You know a guy named Winston who was on the board here at the, um, at the facility? No. No. He doesn't know you. Yeah, we don't know each other personally. I've just, you know, I've heard things from the others, and I've just kind of okay, made... Okay, Winston, I'll tell you what. Well, I've just kind of um, made up my mind about him. I, I Like, I don't really okay, want to... Okay, okay, and I'm going to make up my mind. What is your phone number? Because this came up under Cynthia. That's a good number. What's your last name, Winston? Beauregard. And also on Wednesday, for now on, there's to be no driving. It's just, um, you know, just part of the new religion that we're forming. I think I'm going to have to have my attorney uh, go over all of this because oh, no. I think you're all out of your mind. No, no. I it's... still work for a living. So does my husband. Well, I mean, you just... And you're not going to stop us from driving. Well, just arrange other means of transportation. What's the big deal? Like what? You can, you can ride your bike or, you know, catch a catch a bus. Excuse me, but our business is located in New Jersey. Okay. You expect well, me to ride a bicycle to New Jersey? Well, just take Wednesdays off. That's our holy day. You shouldn't be working that day anyways. You know what? Holy days. You know what, Wednesday? Hey, can you tell I Glenn? I think you're full of shit. Hey, now well, you can call me a dick. Well, you're not being a dick. You're being a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, hey, Glenn. He thinks you're a dick. He just said it. Right? That's really good. I like that. Hey, Glenn. You there? It, yeah, it's it's Winston. Hey, what's going on over there? Is Charlene okay? Where are you right now? I'm over here in my house. Why? Is Charlene okay? Where Char are you right now? I'm in my house. What What does it matter where I am? I'm working from home. Just, you know, maintaining social distancing. Hello? Yeah, I'm right here. And what you're what you're doing or saying or whatever is, like, you do not get to uh, do martial law as a HOA. We're not doing martial law. You're blowing this way well, out of proportion. that's what you're uh, building up to. No, we're just... Telling us we can't drive in the neighborhood. Just on Wednesdays. We I mean, I'm like two seconds from the regular, you know, out of here. It's just on Wednesdays. What's the big deal? Just take that day off. What the hell is Wednesday for? It's our holy day. Didn't Charlene explain to you? We're, Who's holy day? Uh, homeology, our new religion. It's it's so we can file for tax exemption. You're not understanding the benefits of this. I'm going to be So you can file for tax exemption? Yeah, it's in for the... In what way? Well, it's for the good of the neighborhood.
you know, just that way we can. No, no, no. In what way are you claiming that you can file for exemption in the neighborhood? Because we're a religion now. And we just, that's all I was trying to do is explain the new, you know, the new laws, the new holy laws that we have. It's just a few. And who decided on holy laws? Um, which board? Which board members filed for this, uh, Voted for this? Well, Jim was the one that proposed it in the first place. So this goes all the way up the ladder. But yeah, we all we all agreed to it. And look, I don't know. And we did not poll the. We did not bother to poll for uh, no. the constituents, like or the neighbors. No, the neighborhood. No, fuck all that. I mean, you know, you're just a bunch of yammering did idiots. Did you really just say fuck all that? Yeah, I said, fuck all that. What's the big deal? I'm just saying, you know, it's, you guys are just a bunch of idiots. You just blabber and complain. We're just trying to make things better around here. We don't need to, you know, consult with the common rabble. Well, excuse me. Are you, I said, you're calling from Cynthia's phone. Are you in Cynthia's office? Mm-hmm. Good. Bye. Well, hold on a second. I got to explain the rest of the rules. Hello? Hi, Bobby. Yes? Hey, it's... Ira with the HOA. Uh huh. Hey, I just needed to let you know we're gonna be sending a guy over tomorrow, and he's gonna be dropping off some oil, uh, some barrels of oil at your house. Oil. Uh yeah, we um the HOA we purchased uh several hundred barrels of oil, you know, for dirt cheap. Uh huh. And right now it's just kind of useless. Um, so we just need to store it for a while, you know, just temporarily until it goes up in value. So we're just going to be storing it at your, at your house um, in the meantime. What are they going to do at my house with that? Uh, we're going to be storing it at your house, you know, just temporarily. Starting what? Starting what? I don't understand. Uh, well, he's going to be there tomorrow at about 1230 in the afternoon. Uh-huh. T- uh, tell me what it's about. Uh, what do you, uh, the barrels of oil? I don't need, I don't need, I don't need any oil. Well, yeah, no, it's not for you. We're just storing it there temporarily because, you know, we have several hundred barrels. So we're going to put about 10 of them at your house. Why, uh, why do I need, why do I need 10 gallons, 10, 10 gallons of oil? <laughs> well, it's not 10 gallons. It's 10 barrels. 10 barrels? Yeah. So each barrel is, I don't know, I think 50 gallons or something. And it's not that you need it. It's just, um, you know, we just have to store it until we can sell it. Because right now, oh, I don't want it. No, don't don't give me any. I don't need it. Yeah, I know you don't need it, ma'am. It's not about you. It's it's for the good of the of the HOA. Like it's gonna make us a bunch of money and everything. But right now, it's worthless. So I, I don't need it. So we just no, have to. I, I'm an old lady. I don't need it. So don't don't bother me. Okay. Yeah. No, your age doesn't have anything to do with it. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. Is Bobby available? No, she's not. Oh, I was speaking to her just a minute ago. This is Ira with the HOA. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, who's this? Michael, her son. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just explaining to her that um, we're going to be dropping off some barrels of oil at her house tomorrow afternoon just to store them mm-hmm. temporarily. We don't need and oil. I, we have gas. Yeah, no, it's not for you. It's just to store um, until we no, can... No, you're not storing anything. You're not storing no barrels of oil here. Yeah, That's yeah. For- well, we're just no, you're not. Yeah, we definitely are. Um, I, I think there's a misunderstanding here. I'm with the HOA. Yeah. And, you know, we, we have to put these things somewhere. Well, so, you can put so, them in your parking lot. That's where you can put them. No, we... Because we, we're on natural gas. We don't need oil. Uh, I don't understand why you and Bobby both keep saying need. It's not about your needs. It's about the well, HOA. I, I don't want you to store anything on my property. Well, it doesn't matter on, what you on, want. Well, first of all, it's no, not your first no, of all, it's not, not your property. You're not going to put oil. Yeah. No. Okay. First of all, it's not your property. Okay, it's Bobby's. That's and, right. And I'm her son, and I'm speaking for her. You're not going to put barrels of oil. Yeah, on well, our driveway. Well, okay. Well, it's not going to be in the driveway. It's either going to be in the garage or the backyard. That's, that's no. A, the garage is full. There can't you can't get anything in the garage. Okay, then it'll go in the backyard. But it's it's just temporary. Look, I don't understand why you're both getting bent out of shape. It's going to make us, you know, probably millions of dollars. It's just right now it's useless. We have to store it until it goes up in value. Well, then store it on your property. Don't store it on my on this. Yeah, I'm I'm taking ten barrels as well. We all got to do our part, you know, because we have several hundred barrels that we've got to disperse throughout the neighborhood. Well, why don't you sell them back to the oil company? 
Did you not hear me, numb nuts? They're they're worthless right you, now. You call me numb numb nuts? Well, yeah, you're being really dumb. It, it, the oil is useless right now. It's it's not worth anything. We've got to yeah, wait until. So why it, store it here? Uh, again, we have to disperse it throughout the neighborhood. So everybody's going to be housing, you know, at least ah. ten barrels. Well, where do you think that you're going to? We're going to be putting them in in your backyard. You have low comprehension skills. I don't have any comprehension skills. Oh, I said you have low comprehension skills. Cause I don't. You just keep asking. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, Bobby. Yeah. What do you want? It's Ira again. I don't know why you two keep hanging up on me. I'm just trying to let you know about the oil that we're going to be storing at your house. You're not storing any oil at my house. Yeah, we're. I guess we're going to be putting it in the backyard because you're dumb. You're not putting it in my backyard, no. Yeah, we're putting it in... Well, your dumb son said that your garage is full of crap or whatever. My dumb son? Yeah, you're Is that mor- what you said? Well, you're moron son. He kept asking the same questions over and over, even though I spoke very clearly. You know what? You better not come around because he's got a couple shotguns and you better put oh. it on somebody else's yard. Well, you can't murder people. That's against the law. I don't care. You don't. You don't bring things around in my house. You, you would murder me. Put them out in the yard. Put them out in the in the street. I don't think you're thinking very clearly, because threatening someone with a shotgun it's against the law. Why don't you put it at somebody else's house? And if you murder someone, you go to jail. That is all for now. I've been trying to do a better job of crediting people when they give or inspire an idea. So thanks to Dr. Tom Servo for the hand washing idea and Crispy808 for adding to it with the permanent marker idea. Mr. Banana for inspiring the pet rock idea. I regret jumping for helping write some of the HOA religion stuff. Craig for unknowingly inspiring the pet carbon dating idea. And finally, Nico and Just the Tip for the toilet paper stuff. Almost all of these were from posts in the World of Prank Calls Discord server. Another good reason to join there by clicking the link in the show notes. I've got a few voicemails here. Let's breeze through these. Hey there, King Dick. I uh, just wanted to say that uh, that Laura, Laura Held song that you put on there. Last one was actually really, really good. I listened to it like four times in a row. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Oh shit, how do I hang up? That's sad. Doesn't know how to hang up the phone. Yeah, Laura Held um, is an indie artist based out of, I think, Minneapolis. I'm not even sure she's still making music. That song is over a decade old. And I only found it on Jamendo, which is a site I use for finding license-free music. I usually try to play something related to the theme of the show or sentimental sounding because I'm a pretentious sap. Hey there, King Richard's Butthole Winker 34. Hey, hey I had there. a great idea for you for, for prank calls. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> you, should, yeah. you should call hospices yeah. and... Um, Tell them that uh, you're from the government, and they nope. found you. They you found out that they were hoarding ventilators to keep people alive, and that you're going to need them back. Actually, actually, that's a horrible idea. Don't do that. Yeah, I won't. Oh, and by the way, every time I take a shit now, I think of Olga. I'm wondering if she's taking a huge shit too. Confidence is high. Uh, anyway, talk to you later. Sounds like Butthole Winker 34 has COVID-19. Rest in peace, Butthole Winker. I love when people speak so quietly, I have to spend a bunch of time in post boosting their audio. Clean, clean. That's the end. What? I'm out here walking the wasteland. Looking around for tweaks and geeks. Oh, it's Jim. I'm the first in trash out. I haven't seen anything of use yet or anybody crawling around. Anyway, <clears throat> so I say thank you guys for the shows you do. The oh. humor you provide. Oh, you're welcome. You much needed time. Yep. All right. I'm going to get off here. Thank you, guys. Mumbai. Mumbai to you, too, Jim. That was Jim Bob the Impaler from the Discord. Thanks for calling in. Hi, King Richard. It's Ash Dully. Hi. Here's your voicemail. I don't know what to say. Okay. 
Bye. Okay, thanks. Calling in without any idea what you'll say is a perfect fit for this irrelevant segment of the show. Thanks once again to Ryan Jardina, Michael H., Richard, Sagacious Zoo's Sex Cauldron, Alexa Singh, Ryan B., and BadCatVPN.com for supporting the show. Oh, and thanks to I Regret Jumping for dropping everything and helping me with the show-stopping technical issue the other day. I won't bore you with the details, but I will say that that man is a sweetheart and a damn good friend. And of course, thanks a bunch to all of you for listening to the show. It's coming up on two years I've been doing this. It is exhausting and lots of fun, but mostly I hope it helps bring a few chuckles to the world, which kind of rings hollow when it's turned into a vehicle for selling t-shirts. Don't forget to check out shop.spreadshirt.com slash APCS. So, Great Big Pete sent me this song a while back. Why did you hang up the phone? And I was saving it for a full episode. But then I hear Roy Gerbil over at the Snowplow Shoe play it. So, Great Big Pete must have sent it to both of us. Or maybe got tired of waiting for me to play it. What a great big jerk. No, I'm kidding, Pete. I love it when people send me show-related music. Sorry I didn't get to it sooner. But I'll tell you what I love a lot less when people send me original music that is unrelated to the show in any way and is of a genre I don't even listen to. So thanks a lot, Rince Prius, for sending me this song of yours featuring Pace One from The Outsiders and INF. I don't even know what any of that means. Rince tells me you can go to brash.bandcamp.com to check out his music, but fuck that, I'm not doing it. But maybe you will after you hear this. A psychedelic breakfast on the iron horse with Dumbledore. Number four, kicking in the door, about to yell some more. Yellow with Magellan all the way to Lake Elsinore. Checking in the melanin, a demon with extension cords. Tell everyone I'm sorry like a Macklemore. Better call Victor Von Doom and Fantastic Four. Better yet, bitches could assume what I'm rapping for. Flying on a broom while I'm watching cartoons, put her on ignore. I'm distracted, deconstruct my habits over massive. Breathing on the mic, asthmatic. I've had it. Clothing hits the floor like the rapture. Once me to tire up like she's captured my name in the rafters you can even name your children after kill a million rappers bury them in plastic coffin slump like an attic coffin i'm asking them what it cost them everything out of boston now everyone's sighing jobless eyes like faucets making those deposits for the wallet killing all my friends like joseph stalin serata die like tesla autopilot i enact the violence always whiling on the mic until the night is silent i'm distracted i can't pay attention for shit i'm distracted they always try and focus me in i'm distracted Two twin sluts in the back, a fucking bucket with gas and Kato on a track. I'm distracted. I might go crazy again. I'm distracted. I'm either winning or I'm learning to win. I'm distracted. Eating cake while I'm making the bank with no one to thank. I'm baking a tank with raisin and ranks. There's a light pain. In my brain, like a migraine that travels by train over a wide range of it, a supply chain. Like where people go to buy grain and the food groups, the five main. It's a headache, it causes eye strain, but I'm still flyer than a spy plane. High grade, out of your price range, I'm like a snowman. If you cross my DNA with the vampires, you get frostbite. You must be playing with me like Fortnite. I keep my eyes open, some have lost sight they talk they don't keep their jaws tight like it's all right like it's a small bite like it ain't a gun battle it's a sword fight because if it was i'd be the dark I'm knight distracted. i can't pay attention for shit i'm distracted they always try and focus me in i'm distracted two twin sluts in the back a fucking bucket with gas and kato on a track i'm distracted i might go crazy again i'm distracted i'm either winning or i'm learning to win i'm distracted eating cake while i'm making the bank with no one to think I'm begging the tank with raisin and rain Yo. I'm always talking to that cough on a blunt They're looking at you like my brain has just been lost for a month On the way to the store, I told you that you could ride with me Then asked you where he was going while sitting inside the driver's seat My wife told me I had to sleep on the couch Cause I forgot to lock the door last time, leaving the house I lost my phone yesterday when it was next to me And burnt my food this afternoon, trying to check a recipe Even rolling up, 
I swear it's a conundrum Mid smoke I'm asking y'all Where did this blunt come from? Stunt gun numb High and still rolling shit I probably realize it's everything I missed When I'm old as shit Distracted As I scroll through my phone I think I hear somebody knocking But no one is home Distracted I go and flow on my zone Like Ah, oh, I think I got distracted Alright, thanks for your help You have saved the show once again Yay, I expect hey, another show to be named after me Ha 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 